Hey everybody, Ron Harris here, I'm the online editor. This is my third and final home workout. I say that now, but who knows. So I've already done my push day, just chest, shoulders, triceps. Done my pull day, back, biceps, rear delts, traps. Today I'm going to show you a leg workout that I'm doing. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I don't plan on doing much for quads during this whole lockdown quarantine situation. Reason being that they're a dominant body part for me. They're ahead of everything else, basically. Um, over the years, past five, ten years, with shoulder issues, I need a new shoulder. I've lost a little bit of volume, a little size, mass, from areas like my shoulders. Uh, my legs, they haven't lost anything. They might even be bigger than they've ever been at age 50. It's crazy. So, I think it makes sense for any bodybuilder to focus more on your weak points and sort of leave your strong points alone, which is tough because psychologically it's more rewarding to focus on the strong points because you get that instant gratification. They grow and they look great and everyone gives you compliments on them. Whereas a weak point, it's a struggle. It's always going to be a struggle. You're always going to be fighting your genetics, fighting certain things. Anyway, so today I will be doing somewhat of a full routine. I won't be doing lying leg curls so I don't have that ability. I'll explain everything as I do it. It's going to be a fairly short, sweet workout. This is just what I'm doing. You know, you guys can figure out all kinds of other variations on your own. If you want to copy this, by all means, go ahead. I don't have anything like a squat rack. I don't have a barbell. All I have for equipment is stationary bike, which I'm using to warm up. But you could also run sprints on if you really want to pump your legs up. They're not going to get big that way. I have three sets of dumbbells. That's what I'm going to use today is just dumbbells. So this is a dumbbell leg workout. You can do it at home in this tiny room the size of a jail cell. So I'm just going to warm up a little bit more. I'm going to start with uh, stiff, stiff leg deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, because I do keep a little bit of a bend in my knee. So that's probably all I'll do for hamstrings. Then I'm going to move into some squats, holding dumbbells. So it might look more like a deadlift, but it's really it's just a squat. Instead of the resistance being across my back, I'm going to be holding on to it. Um, some dumbbell lunges, stationary. And then I'm going to do calves on one of my staircases. Um, that's it. It shouldn't take too long. Let's, let's hope. Please, uh, you don't need to tell me how strong you are and how weak I am. Guys, back in the day, when I was young, whoo, I used to squat all kinds of weight, guys, all kinds of weight. I've leg pressed 1,500 pounds. I've done all kinds of crazy stuff. So I don't. I let all that criticism roll right off me if people want to talk about how they're stronger. I don't even care. So here I go. I'm going to start with Romanian deadlifts. Uh, dumbbells, obviously, because I don't have a barbell. Very first warm-up set, very, very light. These are just 20-pound dumbbells. So this is what the form looks like. A little tiny bend, slight, slight bend in the knees. It's like you're bowing down for a full stretch. You never want to round your back. You always want to keep an arch. Stick your butt out, bow down. Keep your head up as if you're bowing down to somebody you're about to have a, I don't know, some blood sport type of fight with. So, these actually feel like almost nothing. Yeah, these are only 20 pounds. Actually, no, we don't even have all the full weight on here. These are only 15 pounds. But, you know, I'm gonna get rid of these. These are just ridiculously light. <laughs> so, next warm up, still warming up. These are 35s. So, set number one. Lock out completely. I always keep tension on the hamstrings. So you notice I don't stand up all the way. I stop short because I want that tension on my hamstrings as I'm doing this. one warm up. So I'll do second warm up with this and a couple work sets with the 70s. 
Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot for legs during this lockdown. I'm going to try to let the upper body catch up a little bit to the legs. That's the plan now anyway, we'll see. We'll see how long this lockdown goes on for. All right, so second set, I'll show you sideways so you can see what proper form on these should look like. Normally I wouldn't jump from 35s to 70s, but that's all I have. I don't have anything in between. So I'm going to be going right into a couple work sets with the heavy dumbbells I have, which are the 70s. Um, I think I'm going to be a wuss. Yeah, I'm going to be a wuss and use the straps because I don't care about working on my grip, building bare forearms, especially if I'm trying to train my legs. Why would I care? Trolls, let the trolls talk. Nice sunny day here in Massachusetts. Yeah, okay. Why am I taking this outdoors? I'm gonna carry all this shit outdoors, that's why. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna do two work sets with these. This will be the first one. You might want to back up because they're really close to the camera. I will. It's my son Christian. Dragged him out of his room for this. Again, I'm not trying to show you how strong I am. I don't care if some of you guys can do half this weight, twice this weight. I don't really care. Just showing you what I'm doing, guys. Boy. The breeze does not protect you against coronavirus. It will protect you against bad smells. So, one more of those. The same back of the shirt. Um, am I supposed to read it out loud? Spanish, come on. Uh, okay. Nunca te des por vencido. <laughs> Nunca te ves por vencido. Nunca te des. Anyway, it means never give up. The shirt was given to you by Kit Sanderson, MD Latino. Hope you're doing well down in Miami, Kit. That's my guy. Partner in crime. Alright. One more of those. Uh, go sideways for these. So you can see I'm really conscious about not, not letting my lower bar back round. Keep an arch in it. All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm using these also because I'm going to be holding on to these for the dumbbell squats. Last thing I want is for my grip to be a limiting factor. Not get reps because my grip came out. So this is only 140 pounds of resistance for a squat. You know, that's like, that's a Olympic bar, 45 on each side and a two and a half pump plate. It's not much at all, but this, these are much, much harder. Uh, squatting 300 pounds on your back. This is a, it would be much, much harder to hold 150 pound dumbbells and do the same amount of reps, much, much harder. Just like, a lot of people can bench press, you know, let's say 300 pounds. It's a lot harder to sit there with 150 pound dumbbells because you have to keep them balanced. They're just a lot more work to, uh, to keep balanced. Okay. Using my belt because I, I love my belt. Keep my lower back nice and tight and secure. Don't go to runharrismuscle.com. I gave up that website, uh, I think it's been almost two years now, and I believe it's, uh, they're selling steroids and it's, the language is either Thai or Indonesian, I can't figure out what country it is, but the Daily Pump, that was my blog I did for many, many years, 15 years, yeah, so, put this on, I got my little booty shorts, my hairy legs, so I'm just too lazy to shave my legs anymore, it's, it's a lot of work. So I'm gonna do dumbbell squats for a couple sets here. Now, if I'm only doing like two work sets, guys, feel free to do as many as you want to, as many as you feel you need to. I don't think you need any more than four or five work sets of any exercise, pretty much ever. You know, if you're doing that many sets, your intensity level can't be that high if you feel like you can keep going and going. If you're really working hard on each set, three, four, five at the most work sets of an exercise, you should be all you should be good. So, see what the rep range is. I'm, I'm always looking for on a compound movement. If, I'm, if it's a leg press, I'll go higher in reps, but something like squats or hack squats, I usually keep it around between 10 and 15 for the most part. First set facing this way, I guess. Since I'm already, the dumbbells are already in that position. So, this might look like a deadlift. It's not to squat. Uh, here we go. True failure, I would have to keep going. Um, so I'm not working as hard as I might on a, in a gym on leg day. And until I get back to a gym, I'm probably not gonna be putting that much effort into quads, as I said before. Uh, there's no need for me. It's actually counterproductive if I was doing that right now. And this is the dead space you can edit out. What do we got now for time? We're almost at 15 minutes. Alright, so 
Set two. Okay, one more thing for legs, for quads, and then I'm gonna do calves and it'll be all done. So, dumbbell lunges, great overall lower body exercise. You can do them in place, you can go walk around, walk down your block into them if you want. Um, I'm keeping my workouts indoors for now. Eventually, who knows? So, here's what these will look like. Surprisingly difficult. Not resting much. And the thing, guys, if you don't have a lot of weight to work with, cut your rest periods down. That moderate weight will start feeling heavier because you're not really giving yourself a lot of recovery time. So, let me just do one more of those.
Last thing, I'm going to do some calves. I'm going to go right to one of my stairs in my house here. Okay, so interesting story I've told many times. Some of you are familiar with the Nautilus machines. It's really revolutionized the fitness world in the 70s, 80s. They're pretty much the reason we have so many machines in gyms now. Anyway, uh, owner of the company who designed all the, all the machines in those years, a guy named Arthur Jones. And uh, the one thing he would never make was a calf machine. He said, come on, Arthur. You got these chest machines, back machines. Why don't you make a calf machine? He said, I can't improve upon a block of wood or a step because that's the function of the, the major muscle group of the calf, the larger group. The larger muscle there is a the gastrocnemius and that's all it does is plantar flexion of the foot. So all you need is a step, a block, I'm gonna do one warm up set here with body weight. And then I did these last week. My son did them. His calves, would you say they were more sore, Christian, than, than usual? Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's with access to every calf machine at our gym, leg presses. Yeah, when you work hard, this is all you need for calves. Something to come up high, get that full stretch. Anything that's, that's high, high enough off the ground, you can get that full range of motion. So, so I'm gonna switch to one, one calf at a time now. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth, calf to calf, as many reps as I can for each calf until I'm not getting more reps. So, I don't really have a target in mind. It's just go until the muscle can't go anymore. So, here it goes. Okay, now I'm going to go back to both calves at the same time, burn them up. I'm just going by feel. I just want these things to get pumped and burned. See, sometimes I'll come up and flex, sometimes I just keep it moving. I vary. I vary the tempo, I vary a lot of things. Rest a second and then keep going. If I do that a couple more times, you can get a great calf workout in three, four, five minutes max. That's all it takes. Put all the body weight on one calf to stretch them at the very end. Yeah. So that's my leg workout, guys. My hairy old man leg workout. I'm doing home with nothing more than a couple pair of 
dumbbells, a couple sets of dumbbells, stationary bike, and steps. Most of you guys have at least as much equipment. You can do things like one leg body weight, weight squats. You can do lunges around your block. Get creative, guys. You know, this is a time when uh, the true test of a, a bodybuilder or any serious weight trainer is how well can you keep training with mental equipment? How do you keep yourself motivated? How do you find ways to keep hitting that target muscle? You know, there's a lot of positive things that are going to come out of this. And let me tell you, when you go back to your own gym, whenever that day comes, you're going to have the greatest workouts of your lives, guys, because you're like, oh, my God, a leg press. Oh, my God, uh, a chest, a bench press machine, a lat pull down. Oh, my God. These are things that we've been using every day for years and years, and we just took them for granted. So this home workout stuff, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. I know it sucks, but we're going to get to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you're notified when we get new videos. That's it, everybody. Stay safe, stay strong. Ron Harris, Mostly Development. Thanks for watching.